welcome to the today's session of the subject electromagnetic waves and transmission lines in this session we shall be discussing a very important topic of magnetostatics which is ampere's circuital law like in electrostatics which is unit 1 where we have gauss law similarly we have in unit 2 which is magnetostatics we have ampere's circuital law instead of saying ampere's law I say ampere circuital law and specifying it as circuital law, not just ampere's law. The reason is in this second chapter, we have ampere's law in two forms. Number one, circuital law. Number two, force law. So we say ampere circuital law, ampere's force law. So there are two ampere's law in the same unit. So I have to be very specific in indicating this title. Well, Ampere's force law, as the name suggests, deals with the magnetic forces between electric conductors. Like in Coulomb's law, which deals with electric forces between electric charges. I will just repeat once again to avoid confusion. In unit 1, which is electrostatics, we have Coulomb's law. In unit 2, which is magnetostatics, we have Ampere's force law. Coulomb's law deals with electric force. Ampere's law, Ampere's force law deals with magnetic force. Coulomb's law tells you about the electric force existing between electric charges. Ampere's force law deals with magnetic forces existing between two electric conductors. But well, this is not Ampere's force law, this is Ampere's circuital law. That will be discussed in the subsequent classes. Just I want to mention that there is one Ampere's law which is called as force law. There is another Ampere's law which we are discussing today which is Ampere's circuital law. I said Ampere's force law can be compared to Coulomb's force law. Similarly, Ampere's circuital law can be compared having some similarities with Gauss law in electrostatics. In Gauss law, we assume a sphere which is called as Gaussian sphere. In Ampere's circuital law, we assume a circular path or I can say geometrically a circle. That circular path is referred as Amperean path. The imaginary uh, sphere in Gauss law is named as Gaussian sphere. Here the imaginary circular path is referred as Ampere's path or Amperean path. Does you find the circular path, isn't it? Now what actually Ampere circuit law tells? What is its uh, statement? You find here, starting from here to here. What is it says? The line integral of the magnetic field, when you integrate the magnetic field, magnetic field is h bar. If you are integrating the, this magnetic field around a closed path, around a closed path, that will be equal to the current that is enclosed. Now, whatever that current which is being enclosed by that closed path. On that closed path, if you are integrating the magnetic field, that magnetic field integral will give you the current that is enclosed. But of course, I, I mention here direct current, DC current. The current remains static. Why I say direct current? I can directly say the current enclosed, but I am saying direct current enclosed. There is a reason for that. What is the name of this chapter? Magnetostatics, which means the study of static magnetic fields. If you want static magnetic field, which means which is time invariant magnetic field, you should have static current, steady current. I can say if the current is static, static means which do not change with time, time invariant current, which we refer as DC current. We have a constant line. DC current means which does not change with time, which remains constant. So, magnetostatics deals with 
static magnetic fields. So, the source of static magnetic field will be static current, which is in this case DC current, direct current. So, just understand the statement once again. This statement is in theoretical form. If you express that statement in a mathematical form, this is how it will look like. Let us try to decode this expression one on one. So, what it says, the statement says the line integral. So, what you find here? This is an integral. Now, how do you say this is line integral? Line integral means single integral. Surface integral means double integral. Volume integral means triple integral. But here what it says, it is not say just integral, it is a line integral. Line means single integral. How do you say this integral as line integral? Because here you have dl. Because if it was surface integral, you do not write here dl here, you write ds here. If it is not line integral, if it is volume integral, you do not write dl here, you will write dv here. So, you have here dl which represents it is a line integral, it is a single integral. Then the question is why only line integral? Because Ampere circuital law, circuit, what is the meaning of a circuit? As an engineer, what is the meaning of circuit? A closed path, a closed path is in simpler terms referred as circuit. What I say? A closed path, this is path, this is closed path, this is a wire, this is also a wire, this is open wire, this is a closed wire. Wire is one dimensional, single dimensional. So, what kind of integral you take? This is the total length, this is called dl1, differential length 1, this is called dl2, differential lengths. So, you have all these differential lengths 1, 2, 3, these are called differential lengths. If you integrate this differential lengths, the integral of this dls, all differential lengths, if they are integrated, you will get the total length. But here, this is length, this is also length. Of course, here we use a different term. For a closed path, we use the term circumference. If it is open, we say length. If it is closed, we say circumference. Because circle will have circumference, isn't it? And inside we have area, we say area of circle. Now, I am not just mentioning an integral. I am using the symbol. Did you notice it? A closed symbol. Because in this case, the path is closed path. Because ampere circuital law, we are integrating the magnetic field around a closed path. Because we are integrating the magnetic field around a closed path, the integral will have a closed contour symbol. Because it is a line integral, we have DL here. Why closed path? Why path and why closed path? Because it is ampere circuital law. Circuital means closed path. Why circuital? See the hierarchy. For everything, there is a reasoning. So, understanding the reasoning behind these expressions is what is called understanding the subject. So, why circuital? Because we are trying to establish essentially a relationship between the magnetic field and the electric current. See this integral, this closed integral, DL, all these are geometrical things. Just for understanding or for focusing on this law, let us go for the parameters that are involved. They are not parameters, these are operations, integral operation, this is DL. Just you keep this aside, all these geometrical aspects. What actually the significant parameters that are present are on the right hand side, you have electric current, of course, uh, DC current. On the left hand side, you have magnetic field, of course, static magnetic field or magnetostatic field, because the chapter is magnetostatics. Right side, you have DC current, left side, you have magnetic field. So, we are trying to establish a relationship between static magnetic field and current, static current or direct current. So, current is flowing in a conductor. See this, this line, whatever line you are finding here, red color line. Let us say that is z axis and this is x axis and this is y axis. Like this is a plane x axis and y axis, this is perpendicular to this, this is z axis. What is there in the z axis? Current i. What is the direction of current? You can find here an arrow here, upwards. This is current and the direction is upwards. You know right hand thumb rule. This is my right hand, this is my thumb, 
what right hand thumb rules tells you it tells you about the relationship between the direction of current and the direction of magnetic field thumb tells you direction of current my curly fingers tells you the direction of magnetic field right hand thumb rule what it says thumb indicates direction of current if current is going up the magnetic field will be like this like this arrows the curly fingers are going this way and thumb is up if thumb is down current is flowing down the direction of magnetic field is like this so in this case if you observe the direction of magnetic field where is magnetic field the magnetic field is surrounding the conductor you know this from your school days a current carrying conductor is surrounded by magnetic field that means if current is traveling in a conductor flowing in a conductor then it is surrounded by magnetic field means the magnetic field is circulating the conductor carrying current that's why we use this as circuit closed path that's why we say it as ampere circuit law because magnetic field is spread on a circular path circulating around the conductor carrying current of course if the current flowing is strong then the resulting magnetic field will also be strong if it is lesser amount of current that is flowing then you get weak magnetic field so higher the current stronger the magnetic field that's a different thing that is about magnetic direction of magnetic field now essentially magnetic field is circulating around the conductor carrying current now we have to follow any one of the coordinate systems as we discussed in the beginning of the subject we come across in emtl either cartesian system or spherical system or cylindrical system now which one is appropriate here i'll show you here current is flowing upwards like this if current is here you have magnetic field here if current is here you have magnetic field here if current is here you have magnetic field here if current reaches here you have magnetic field here join this this is nothing but this is nothing but a cylinder a cylindrical pipe or a cylinder so we have to use cylindrical coordinate system now the question is what are the coordinates in cylindrical coordinate system just recollect we have r phi and z r is the radius of the cylinder let us say current is flowing here so i have magnetic field surrounding the conductor here now this is called r radius of the cylinder of course if current is here you can take here if current is here you can take like this i am considering at a particular point for the analysis so this is called r radius of the cylinder and this is called z z is called height of the cylinder what is there along z direction along z direction current is flowing so z tells you the direction of current and what is the direction of magnetic field in which direction magnetic field is observed magnetic field is surrounding the current carrying conductor this is called surrounding path or circular path and what is this direction called in cylindrical system this direction is nothing but we are moving in a horizontal plane azimuthal plane and this direction is nothing but phi direction if i am here phi equal to 0 degrees if i am here phi equal to 10 degrees 45 90 degrees 135 like this as phi changes you are at different points in the closed path so phi indicates direction of magnetic field so why i have taken this direction and this direction and this direction like this this direction i have taken because current is going upwards so direction of magnetic field will be like this this like this so i have taken so phi tells you the direction of magnetic field z tells you or z gives you in which direction the current is flowing what about r r is the distance of a point on a circular path if you are farther from the conductor r will be more you have weak magnetic field if r is less you are nearer to the conductor magnetic field will be strong that is the relationship now let us try to substitute the expression for h as well as dl and we should get i that is nothing but the proof of ampere circuit law so first substitute for h substitute for dl what is the expression for h what is the expression for magnetic field we have discussed as per 
as per Biosa Watt's law, the magnetic field expression is I by 2 pi r. Greater the current, stronger the magnetic field. R indicates radius of the cylinder, means distance from the current carrying conductor to any point on the circular path. If R is more, you are farther from the conductor, you have less magnetic field. That is why H and R are inversely proportional. Then Y 2 pi r, Y H is inversely proportional to 2 pi r. What is this? Circular path, magnetic field is spread on the circular path. What is the circumference of the circular path? 2 pi r. Y 2 pi r is inversely proportional to H. If you are at the farther distance, you have more radius, you have bigger 2 pi r. Bigger 2 pi r means bigger radius, means you are farther from the conductor, you have weak magnetic field, inverse relationship. That is why you have H and 2 pi r inversely related. Next, if current is more, you have magnetic field strong. It is simple and straightforward. Now, this is the expression for magnetic field. You have to substitute that. Next, what do we want? We know H now. We want DL. What is called DL? DL is called the differential length. Now, there are three types of differential lengths. If X is a length, then DX is called differential length. This is in Cartesian system where you have X, Y, Z. But this is not Cartesian system, this is cylindrical system R phi z. Now, what is differential length in cylindrical system that we want? DL in cylindrical system is R d phi a phi, that is a standard expression, it should be on your fingertips. The differential length in cylindrical system, we have seen why we use cylindrical system just now, but differential length is R d phi a phi. But if you observe carefully, Again, there are three types of differential lengths. Dx is differential length along x direction. So, we use unit vector Ax. Dy is differential length in Cartesian system along y direction. So, unit vector Ay. So, what do you have here? A phi. That means, dl is the differential length in cylindrical system along phi direction because unit vector A phi. Why only in phi direction? Because magnetic field is surrounding the current carrying conductor. You are integrating the magnetic field around a closed path and the direction of that path is phi direction. That is why we have A phi. So, what essentially tells you? DL, the differential length in cylindrical system along phi direction is R d phi A phi. Now, you know H bar, you know DL. What we have to do? H bar dot DL. First, you have to multiply H bar expression and DL expression. Later on, you have to integrate that. What kind of integral? Single integral. What are the limits of integral? What is the direction? of the path, circular path, phi direction. So, you have to substitute the limits for phi. What are the limits of phi for this integral? 0 to 2 pi. Okay, got it. So, first you have to multiply expression for h bar dl bar, then you have to integrate this. Finally, you should get i. Let us see that. So, h bar dot dl. h bar is i by 2 pi r a phi. dl bar is r d phi a phi. Now, a phi dot, this is dot product, a phi dot a phi, dot product of identical unit vectors is 1, 1. So, what remains? i by 2 pi r into r d phi, i by 2 pi r into r d phi. Well, this r cancels. What remains? i by 2 pi d phi, that is what I have written here, i by 2 pi d phi. This is the expression for h dot dl. The work does not end here. After h dot dl, what you have to do? You have to integrate it because it is not just h dot dl. There is also integral before that. Now, the expression for h dot dl is i by 2 pi d phi. Now, integrate this. So, i by 2 pi d phi, this is h dot dl. Integral. What kind of integral you have to use? Line integral. What are the limits of phi? 0 to 2 pi. Of course, it is a closed path only. There is no doubt in that. So, i by 2 pi is constant. I have taken it outside. Integral d phi. Integral d phi is phi, limits going from 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi. This is 2 pi minus 0, 2 pi minus 0, that is 2 pi, i by 2 pi. So, 2 pi, 2 pi cancels, what remains is i. So, we say integral h dot dl equal to i. 
So I will wind up this discussion with this statement. What it says in ampere circuit law, the integral of magnetic field around a closed path is equal to the current or the direct current that is enclosed within that path. So this is about ampere circuit law.